Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. Human rights and epidemic origins are causing a rift between U.S. officials. 2. Beijing officials says, real enemies, want Hong Kong to be pawn in geopolitics. China, human rights and epidemic origins are causing a rift between U.S. officials. Top U.S. and Chinese diplomats appear to have had another tense exchange, with Beijing claiming that the U.S. has instructed it to stop interfering in its internal affairs and accusing Washington of politicizing the COVID-19 pandemic investigation. Yang Jiqi, a senior Chinese foreign policy advisor and Secretary of State Antony Blinken spoke on the phone on Friday, revealing deep divides in a number of problematic areas, including Hong Kong's limiting of freedoms and the widespread internment of Muslims in the northwestern Xinjiang province. Calls for a more thorough inquiry into the origins of the SARS-CoV-2 virus that produces COVID-19 are especially sensitive for China because it's been suggested that it may have escaped from a laboratory in Wuhan, the country's capital. According to Yang, China is very concerned about absurd reports that the virus escaped from the Wuhan lab. China firmly opposes any despicable acts that use the epidemic as an excuse to slander China and to shift blames, Yang was quoted as saying by the official Xinhua news agency. Some people in the United States have fabricated and peddled absurd stories claiming Wuhan lab leak, which China is gravely concerned about, Yang said. China urges the United States to respect facts and science, refrain from politicizing COVID-19 origin tracing and concentrate on international anti-pandemic cooperation. Hong Kong. Beijing official says, real enemies want Hong Kong to be pawn in geopolitics. On Saturday, the Chinese government's main envoy in Hong Kong warned that those attempting to transform the city into a pawn in geopolitics were the genuine adversaries, and that Beijing was the actual defender of the territory's special status. Luo Huining, director of China's Hong Kong Liaison Office, told a forum that the financial hub, a former British colony handed over to China in 1997, remained one of the world's most competitive economies, the South China Morning Post reported. Luo said the ruling Communist Party was the creator, leader, implementer and defender of one country, two systems. Despite such assurances, many Hong Kong residents have over recent years become worried about what they see as attempts by Beijing to curtail its freedoms. The liaison office did not answer calls outside normal business hours to confirm the contents of the speech and it did not immediately respond to faxed questions. Unease among many Hong Kong residents grew in 2014 when pro-democracy protesters took to the streets to demand universal suffrage. Demonstrations snowballed again in 2019, sparked by opposition to judicial reform that many people saw as a threat to their way of life. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.